Well, let's return to our top story on Trump's planned rally in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, Rena Shah is a Republican strategist and consultant. She joins me now live via Skype from Washington, D.C. Good to have you with us on the program. In the light of the sort of Charlottesville demonstrations and the attacks and the deaths, is dealing with another race row on immigration too soon when it comes to pardoning an ex-sheriff who's been dealing with immigration you might say, uh, on the streets of Phoenix and the state of Arizona? So the latest news is that Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the press secretary within the White House, on Air Force One, just within the past hour, told a gaggle of reporters that the sheriff would not be pardoned by the president tonight and that reporters should not speak of it anymore. Uh, so that's a very big development. Conservative stalwarts have, have said that the president wants to pardon the sheriff. I think in light of everything that happened in Charlottesville, the weak response, the backlash, from his response. Uh, I don't think the pardon would have been a good idea. And also, were he to do it tonight, it would not have gone through the U.S. Justice Department's review process. And of course, we should just give our viewers that added information that the, the sheriff himself uh, was in contempt of court for actually stopping individuals on the road and checking their uh, credentials. So really, the discourse in Arizona has highlighted perhaps this and issues of immigration. But how sensitive is the subject of immigration in Arizona when it's also been the subject of uh, a wall that Trump wants to build between it and Mexico? Well, the, the issue is terribly sensitive there in Arizona, and it has been for many years because it's a border state. The wall would directly affect them. This is a wall that the president said when he was campaigning that the American people would not pay a dime for, that Mexico would pay for this wall. We've seen now in the many months since he's taken office that uh, Mexico is refusing to pay for the wall. And if uh, the wall eventually is erected by this president, American taxpayers will end up paying for it. So. That leaves a lot of mixed emotion, and particularly on those residents in a border state like Arizona. There's a lot of high tension there because of the illegal immigration problems that they've been facing for nearly a decade now, if not more. I would say it's heightened over the past decade, and they felt that President Obama wasn't tough enough on this Ill illegal immigration. So I, I submit to the viewers that uh, President Trump, mm. his, uh, his ascension to the throne of the American presidency was because of this very issue because he said he would be very tough on it. You say immigration was one of the issues. The other one was obviously not getting involved in, you might say, international conflicts. And obviously we've seen in the last uh, 24 hours the uh, statement by the president about his strategy on Afghanistan. It's interesting, though, that you see Arizona was a, a battleground during the election and has always been a battleground between Democrats and Republicans. And the, 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 the gap in the victory margin over the previous three uh, presidential elections has got smaller and smaller. Our statements about Afghanistan and perhaps even more troop increasement there uh, going to affect the way Republicans are viewed in a state like Arizona. Well, the midterm elections are 70-some days away. They'll be taking place later this fall here in the United States. And, and that gives voters uh, in the state of Arizona, for example, a, a chance to tell their elected officials to U.S. senators and uh, as well as, well, as well as the House of Representatives, the people who represent them within the House, gives them the opportunity to say, we're unhappy with you. Now, it's important to note that the U.S. senators from the state of Arizona are John McCain and Jeff Flake. These are two senators who've been uh, routinely and uh, consistently tough about the president and his rhetoric, as well as his uh, policy proposals and lack thereof. However, when it comes to the war, Senator McCain has, has felt somewhat pleased with President Trump's statement on Monday about the potential to increase troop levels. Now, of course, it's important to know that he did not give a specific number. But senators like John McCain, they want to see that tough stance. So I really think the politics in the state, the local politics, the congressional level politics, they're all going to come to a head very soon. And it's not going to be good for President Trump. I'll tell you that much. Well, we shall see what does happen for the moment. Uh, Rina Shah, thanks for joining us from Washington, D.C.